Now I'm going to show you how to manage Firefox using Group Policy. So to start, the first thing we want to do is download the Group Policy files for Firefox. So to do that, if we open up a web browser and type in Firefox ADMX files, and then come to the first link, which should be customizing Firefox using Group Policy. And then if we scroll down, there should be a link to the Mozilla GitHub for the policy templates files. In their GitHub, we should come to the release page. And if we scroll down, we'll just get the latest policy templates files, which in this case is version 6.3. So if we select that, it should automatically download the files for us. And then we can come to our downloads and then just extract the zip file. Once we've got our extracted zip file, we can come into the Windows folder and we can see we've got our Firefox and our Mozilla ADMX files. And we've also got our language files within the language folder. The next thing we want to do is open up our group policy management. And then within group policy management, come to group policy objects and then create a new GPO for our Firefox settings. So we can just right click and new and then enter settings. And then in here, we can right click our GPO and come to edit. And then under computer configuration and then policies, we can select administrative templates. And in this case, we can see at the top, my administrative templates are retrieved from the central store. However, yours might say local computer if you don't have the central store set up. So if yours say retrieved from the local computer, what you'll want to do is browse to file explorer and then go to the C drive and then windows and then within the Windows folder, there should be a policy definitions folder. And if we come in here, we can add our ADMX files into here. However, if like mine, it says it's retrieved from the central store, what you'll want to do is browse to your local Active Directory domain, and then come to the sysfile folder, and then the domain, and then policies. And then in here, we've got a policy definitions folder, which is shared across all of our domain. If we come in here, we can then put our ADMX files into here, so they are accessible by all domain controllers. So I'll just come back to my downloaded folder. I'll grab the Firefox and the Mozilla ADMX files, and then just copy them into the policy definitions folder. And then if we scroll back to the top and come into our language folder, and then again in the downloaded, we'll just put our ADML files in the corresponding language folder. Now we've copied them downloaded files into our policy definitions folder. We can come back to group policy, right click our GPO and then press edit. Then if we go to computer configuration and then policies and then administrative templates, what we should see is an option for Mozilla. And then within here, we've got Firefox with all of our Firefox settings. As an example, I'm going to come to the homepage folder and under URL for homepage, I'm just going to set a URL. So I'll just set this to my website. So what this will do, this will just set a home page for whatever machines this policy is applied to. So now we've made whatever modifications we want to the policy. We can then close our editor. And now we've got our working GPO that we just need to apply to an organizational unit. So if we come over to settings, we should see the settings that I've just configured. So we've got our URL for the home page. So all we need to do is select our GPO and then apply it to our workstations OU as we configured a computer configuration policy. So we just need to drag that over the workstations. And now any of the workstations within this workstations OU will get this group policy applied. If you've done a user configuration, you just apply it to your users OU or whatever you want to apply it to. And then the users in there will get the policy. So that's how you can manage Firefox using group policy.